Hey, babe. You gotta come meet my best friend. Who is this nigga? How you doing? Oh, what's up, bruh? What's up? I'm Melvin Gregg and welcome to another episode of A Guy's Perspective. Today we have a very, very special guest, Jenna Frume. Hey. What's up? Don't break my door. <laughs> How, How you doing? doing? Good. Good. Did I say your name right? Is it Frumas or Frooms? You actually said it right the first Frumage. time. Frumas, yeah. That's fancy. Was it Frooms and then you said Frumas because it sounded no, better? No, actually, or was I it? honestly just don't know the origins of my last name because it's okay. not really my last name. So I just okay. say it how I want to say it. None of us have really our last names. Mine's probably come from like a slave master. <laughs> but it ain't even my family's slave master. It's like I switched in through some marriages and some illegitimate children. It's crazy, long story. What are story. illegitimate children? Children of someone who you're not with. If you're oh. married to someone and you had a child outside of marriage, it's like an illegitimate child. Oh, well yeah. then I'm illegitimate. I'm illegitimate too, my dad married. And he's like married to this day for like 40 years and I'm only 28, mm -hmm. his wife ain't mine. Oh. I'm 29, his wife ain't my mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how you been? I've been good, good. I've been good. I'm finally back walking. You know, I, I broke my that. foot, so I'm just glad to be able to walk. Yeah. My crutches were not <laughs> Yeah, you was you was struggling. Yo, so I have a question. What's the craziest encounter you've ever had with one of your followers? The craziest encounter I've probably had was actually recently. Mm -hmm. This dude that I met at Coachella, and he okay. was like a big fan. So he like came up to me like, hey, can we make a video? And I'm like, yeah, we can make a video, I don't care. I, I love that. I'm very flattered by when people come up to me. So we made a video. Okay. So I get on Instagram this morning mm -hmm. and um he uh, he posted that video again, and then he had like the swipe or whatever, and he had like my picture, and then there was another swipe, and it was a video of him like showing off my face tattooed on his arm. He got arm. your face tattooed. <laughs> yes, well my body too, but like this bathing suit. <laughs> Why are you making that face? Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. So what we about to do right now, we gonna get into the topic of the day. We have a wheel with different topics. We are gonna spin it. We are gonna land on a topic. All of these topics are based on ideas that guys and girls commonly disagree on. So you're gonna get a guy's perspective, and you're gonna get your perspective, and see if we can see eye to eye on these things. To help us out, we got the beautiful day. She's gonna come in and spin the wheel for us. Bye. What's up, Day? What's going How on? How you feeling? Good, um, chilling. Good? Always All good. Right. <laughs> let's get this wheel moving. All right, let's do it. DM sliding. That's a good topic. I feel like it's very fit because I'm pretty sure all of your followers want to know how to slide in your DMs. <laughs> so we're about to give them a tutorial? We can give them a tutorial. We can talk about it, an overview of DM sliding, the, the, the rules that come with it, and your, uh, the rules. Preferred, your preferred uh method of DM sliding. Okay. Have you ever slid in the guy's DMs? Yes, I was drunk one night and I did, yeah. Yeah, how'd that turn out for you? It was like a celebrity too. Damn, who was it? I'm not telling you. <laughs> you wanna take a shot and tell me? I'm not telling you. I'd rather take a shot than tell you. You can take a shot then tell me. No, maybe right. enough shots I would tell you, but no. All right, we're gonna save off on the shots and then afterwards we're gonna ask you this question again. Okay. Do you feel wrong with sliding the guy's DMs or is it something that you don't mind doing? I would not do that again. I like when the, the man approaches the woman. Like that's how it's supposed to be. Like the woman is supposed to, you know, ask the girl's hand in marriage. If you're gonna if you're gonna go that double standard chivalry it's route. It's not double standard. If you're gonna go the chivalry route, you need to be washing my drawers, cooking me meals. Hell yeah. You oh, acting all right. right. All right, cool. I can't yeah. argue with that. You acting right. Would you talk to a guy who you you've never met, but he's slitting your DMs? Yeah. If he slid right. If he slid right, yes. What's so the right like way to it. slide? Like, I don't really like the, hey, sexy, or like, can I get your number? I don't like it to be super direct. I like, like, okay. so say I post like a funny video or something, and somebody uh -huh. says like, oh, that's funny. Or like, I post a video of me on my motorcycle, and they're like, oh, you ride, that's dope. It's kind of like a conversation. I don't right. want it to go right into the, you're beautiful, let's fuck. 
You know, I want Ooh, it, I want it to like that? Yes. That's crazy. So I like it to be like kind of just a conversation, very organic, you know. You gotta finesse it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, like don't just jump right into it. Like let, let's see if I'm interested first and then we can go from. I feel you. Yeah, but I would. I mean, it's kind of just like uh, these dating websites, honestly, except I, you get to know more about somebody because it's like their personal their profile. Page. So when they DM you, you go down a timeline and you kind of get like oh, yeah. their perception of what they are see if before married, you respond. See if they have a girlfriend. Damn. A lot of them, they have wives. So you gotta prepare. If you slide in Jenna Fumez DMs, <laughs> make sure you hide all the pictures or archive the pictures no, with your wives, your wives and your girlfriends, all the weird shit, you archive just don't it. don't DM me if you have a girlfriend, a boo, a boo thing, a wife. What if they just think you're a great person and they don't want to take it to a sexual or a They can just do that in the comments talk. then. Write a comment. You don't uh, okay, so DM, DM is to show interest in things outside of being platonic or friends. Or if it's something personal. Like if you have a question like, hey, I saw you got this dress. I wanted to know where you got it from. Like, you can DM me that. Usually, I don't slide in DMs that much. You know, it gotta be, it's a rare occasion. But I'll comment on like a story because it's something going on and it's something for me to respond to. Exactly. Rather than just like, like a hey, sexy, or hey, beautiful. I feel like that's real, yeah. like, just cliche and generic. You're a seasoned DMer. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not. I just, I, I study. You know how to do it. I study the art of DMing, but I don't partake in it uh, too much. I gotta pretty much meet you in person first or just think you like super cool. And then I'm gonna comment on, like what you said is a good point. Comment on what their interests are. It's not just like you're beautiful. It's like, right. oh, that's dope. You do that. Cause it's like you paid attention to something right. that I do. So even if you don't really care, no. you just gotta know how to finesse it. That's the thing. Because you're giving yourself more of a chance and it shows more respect to her, right? He's halfway right. I'm all the way right. I'm just 100% <laughs> truthful. To the fellas, I'm here for the voice. You're fifty percent truthful. I'm the voice of the fellas, and I'm, I'm because I'm you're telling them, them if they're too. not even. In, so find something you're interested in. Don't just say something you're not interested in. I guess. All right, cool. So right now we about to hop into a challenge. We're gonna bring Day back out, and we're gonna um, answer questions, fifth grade questions. So it's like, are you smarter than a fifth grader oh. or elementary school student? All right. Boom, 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 boom. Uh -oh. <laughs> so first question. What planet is closest to the sun? Fuck. All right, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Mercury. Mercury, baby. Mercury. I paid attention. You know, I'm, I'm smart, Dave. Is that is that a future? I don't you know look how I got a full ride scholarship because <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah, I don't know smart. This stuff. It's a good thing. Hey, doing it. I know the second planet from the sun too. What? Venus. <laughs> Yeah, I could keep going all day well, if they do that for you. Nice. All right, we're going to do the next one. You got a full ride scholarship? Mm -hmm. You must have been an athlete. No. <laughs> why, why can't it be for academics? Because you they don't put test Mars. You. They don't test you on this in high school. You need this to get out of elementary school. Yeah, but not high school. What were the names of the three Spanish ships oh. used by Christopher <laughs> Columbus? I don't even like that nigga. The terrorist Christopher Columbus. Hold on. Don't be looking over here trying to keystroke my damn. I ain't trying to stroke nothing. <laughs> I'm trying to write these answers. Dang, everybody's gonna think I'm so stupid. You know they changed Chris Columbus Day to uh, Obama Day? We nah, I don't know if they changed Wikipedia? it to Obama Day, but they got rid of it. They got rid of it for Yeah. Indigenous People Day. Indigenous People Day. You look like an indigenous person. <laughs> you don't know. My answer. Check mine out though. <laughs> Yeah! You spelled one of them wrong, but the majority is right. <laughs> nah. But if you spelled it wrong, no. what I spell wrong? Tina. I took the T out of here because I feel like it was nothing, it was nothing uh, Christ-like in that whole expedition. And when they took out all of them people, and I feel like it was disrespectful to, to Jesus to have a cross in there because he ain't had nothing to do with that. So I took it out. So now a T represents a T is a cross. It's how you look at it. It's a perspective. <laughs> this is a guy's perspective. I'm on another level. Name the three branches of government. Oh my God. Jenna <laughs> don't know none of this. All right, let's see that. Time up. Pins away. <laughs> what the f is that? <laughs> she didn't even attempt. This is what she did through school. She That's literally pictures. what I did in school. I just get in so much trouble. Full ride. <laughs> you ain't here talking about scholarships. <laughs> I see how you graduated. 
I used to sell these pictures for money. What's your answer, let me see. Too, Good job. The last one is it criminal or federal? Executive. Executive. See, I wouldn't have thought of it. I guess it's safe to say you're not really scholastic on a, on an elementary level. It's all I'm good not. though. It's all good. I'm you sure still not. you still popping. So, um, <laughs> you lost, but that doesn't mean everyone should lose. So we're gonna get the prize that you would have got, and give it to one of our, our, our viewers out there, one of our supporters. But I still got something for you too. There you go. What you got? A universal remote. Oh, that could turn you on. <laughs> what? Yeah. So what we have here is a water bottle with a speaker, a Bluetooth speaker. So while you're working out, you could be like, when you run it, have music playing, and you could drink at the same time. If you want to win this prize, make sure you like, comment, and uh, share this post. And next episode, we're going to announce the winner of it. That wraps up this episode of A Guy's Perspective. Thank you again. Thank you. Jenna Frumez. You can find her anywhere at? J-E-N-A-F-R-U-M-E-S. <laughs> Thank the beautiful day once again, helping us out. You can follow me at Day Sulan, D-V-Y-S-U-L-A-N. What they gotta do to come through your DMs? People can't slide, it don't happen that often. I say, I say send her dick pics since she want to act like that. Oh, that's all I'm no. saying. And that's this week's no. episode of A Guy's Perspective. <laughs> Make sure you tune in next week for a whole nother episode.